The dramatic effects of the climate crisis are already felt across the world. Unfortunately, the measures to halt it can also have negative impacts on people and the environment. To meet agreed climate targets, some countries and companies buy carbon credits, which represent emission reductions by a project. Let's have a look at how a project goes from a simple idea to generating purchasable carbon credits. And more importantly, how local communities can make their voices heard in the process. Because once harm is done, it is often too late to undo it. This is why local organizations should understand how these projects are developed and how communities can watch over them. But what should they watch out for? Firstly, most projects are registered under special standards, a sort of guarantee label. The three main global standards are the Clean Development Mechanism, the Voluntary Carbon Standard and the Gold Standard. Each has its own rules, but they generally follow a similar structure. First is the project idea. The project developer thinks of a way to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and takes up pen and paper to lay out the details. This is the first opportunity for those affected by the project to get involved through a stakeholder consultation, which many standards require and which the developer should organize in order to seek input. However, these rules are sometimes not applied. If local communities have not been consulted properly, they can register a complaint, as some programs share online contact details for it. For some standards, such as the Clean Development Mechanism, the host country must authorize the project, and this can be another opportunity for communities to engage. After detailing the project, the developer should get the idea reviewed by an external organization. A review that should include the comments received during the stakeholder consultation. If the project is deemed to have a positive expected impact and it meets the requirements set by the standard, it is validated and ready to be registered. After reviewing the result of the first two steps, the chosen standard will officially register the project. In some programs, this is another opportunity to voice concerns. If, for example, local communities were not properly consulted or their opinion was ignored, once registered, the project can generate carbon credits for the stipulated number of years. The project is now getting started. If stakeholders are affected in any negative way at this stage, or were not properly consulted before the start of the project, they can still turn to the developers or the standard which certify the project and complain. Some standards have a specific procedure for this, called a grievance mechanism, and contact details are often found online. Throughout the project, the developer will monitor various parameters to make sure it can detail exactly how many tons of greenhouse gases were saved thanks to this project. This data is generally not public at this stage, but it is used later to know exactly how many carbon credits should be issued. Once the project is up and running, an independent auditor will verify that it is working according to plan. With this verification, using the data from the previous step, the auditor will confirm that emissions have been reduced and that carbon credits can be created. Once all these steps are completed, the developer can finally receive the carbon credits which are created by the standard certifying the project. In most cases, for every ton of CO2e reduced, the project developer will receive one credit. The developer can now sell the credits or deliver them if they have already been purchased in advance. This is how carbon market projects come to life. Of course, this type of carbon market is not a long-term solution to stopping the climate crisis. Offsets are used to justify emissions elsewhere and therefore don't reduce overall emissions.
but it's important that local communities know how these projects are implemented and how they can make their voices heard, because regardless of how offsets are used, no climate project should harm people.